Hello everyone. Today we are going to read about the compound interest. In our lower classes, we have been studying about the simple interest. Simple interest is basically for simple. Uh, we multiply what principal, rate, and time. So all the things today we are going to discuss about the uh, compound interest. What is the difference between the simple interest as well as the terms related to compound interest? All these things we are going to discuss. So let's start. We have studied about the simple interest. Simple interest is what principal. Principal means what the amount which we borrowed or deposited. Rate what percent paid is there and the time required means for how many how many years or how many time how much time we are getting that we are borrowing that money or lending that money. Okay and divided by hundred. So let's understand the difference between the simple interest and compound interest. That by the example. The only thing, only difference is that in simple interest we found the interest for given time. Like suppose here two years are given, so for same principal, right? For same principal we find the interest for uh, whatever the year is given. In compound interest, that principal changes after every year. That means the amount which we find by the principal plus interest, right? So that. Amount after one year become the principal for second year. Then principal uh, amount after second year will become the principal for third year. That is why that is what the difference is. Let us stand by. Let us stand it by the example. Suppose we have taken principal. This is one hundred and this one is five percent and it is a time is two years. So simple interest will be basically by this formula we can write one thousand. Plus it is five into two divided by hundred. Okay. Now we will simplify this and we get how much? We will get ten into fifty into two. So that is equal to hundred rupees. So we are getting what simple interest for hundred rupees. Then amount will be what amount after two years will be one thousand plus one hundred. So that is equal to one thousand one hundred. This much we will get. Uh, the amount after by the putting in simple interest. Now we try to understand what is the compound interest. Compound interest is the same method simple interest so we find by the simple interest. Just only change is that the amount after one year becomes the principal of second year. It means that in compound interest. Principal change after every year. Let's see this. That same example we are taking. Principal is hundred and the same. So first of all, we will find the simple interest after one year. What will be? It will be that understand this simple interest. So that is equal to one thousand into five into one. So we are taking for one year then divided by. Hundred. Okay. Then one zero one zero one zero cancel. And then interest after one year is fifty rupees. Now the amount after one year that is equal to principal plus interest. That means it will become one thousand plus five fifty. One thousand plus fifty. So that will become one thousand fifty rupees. Okay. This one is the amount after. Amount after one year. Now this amount will become principal for second year. That means for second year principal will be one zero five zero and the rate will be same for five percent and the time again for one year we are finding for one year we are finding. Then the interest simple interest for second year it will be what one zero five zero. Only difference is the principal will change after every year. This one we will divide by compound interest. One zero five zero into five into one divided by one hundred. Okay, then change it five hundred five two zero. So simple interest here become one zero five divided by two, and that is equal to fifty two point five. Okay, fifty two point five. Now we will understand the amount after amount after. Second year, what will be the principal is one zero five zero, one zero five zero plus interest is fifty two point five. That means this will give what? How much rupees will be? 
0.5 and then become 2, 0 and then 1 and 1. Okay. So you can understand this. Here we are getting 1, 1100, but here we are getting 1102.5. Why? Because this principle changed. Right? Now here we have taken only 1000 units. So the difference is 2.5. Right? For if there is the long person name like 5 years or 3 years or for 2 years, that if and then principle. Principle is the bigger amount. In that case, if there is a that is in interest. Right? So this is what the difference is. Now, what is that? We have the formula for finding C I A one formula, right? That means we cannot, we do not need to find the F for interest for every year. We have a formula that is called amount is equal to principal into and here it will be 1 plus R by 100 foot to the power N. This is the formula which we use to find the simple compound interest. I hope you have understand this concept. Okay, so we have split the amount, total amount by the compound interest. The formula is amount is in principle into 1 plus r by 100 and to the power n. Where r is a p is the principle, a is amount and r is rate and this a is number of years or time. Okay, now we shall uh, we'll see one person and we'll solve by this method. Finding CI on rupees 12,000 for 2 years at the rate of 10% per annum, compounded annually. Right? Now we we'll see here this one is CI. We need to find the CI. This one is principal year 2 and then 10,000. So put this in formula amount to become principal. Principal is 12,000. Okay? Then into here we have 1 plus rate is 10%. So 10 by 100 to the power n. n is what? It is 2 years. So power 2. Now amount become what? 12,000 into here it is 1010 cancel. 10 ones are 1 and 10. 11 by 11 by 10 to the power 2. So amount become 12,000 into this will be 11 by 10 into 11 by 10. So this 0 and this 0 cancel out. Then amount will be 120 multiplied by 11 square is, it is 121. And here we will get amount is equal to 14,520. Now this one is the total amount. We need to find the CI. So we find the CI by amount minus principal. So amount is 14,520 minus principal is 12,000. Okay, then this will become it will be 2520 rupees will be the CI. So this is how you find the CI by this formula. Okay, I hope you have understand the concept of this CI and SI in practice at your home.